morning, the enthusiasts. How are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're all well. And I genuinely mean that. I hope you're all well. We're just about to go into the second UK lockdown for coronavirus. And something that's close to my heart is mental health. I think we should all do our bit to try and look out for our, you know, friends, our fellow colleagues, our family, that sort of thing. And it can be a tough time at the moment. I, you know, I'm lucky enough to have uh, you know, a lovely family, a wife and kids, and I've got people at home but to spend my time with, but I'm just conscious there might be people out there that are all on their own. And yeah, uh, I feel sorry for those people, especially in these times when we've got a lockdown for the virus to try and do our bit. And it can get to people. And unfortunately with men, it tends to get to us more than it does uh, with ladies for some reason. I just think we are, as men, we're not great at talking when we have a problem. So before we get into that vi this video, uh, please, please, if, if you're getting down, if you're feeling depressed, if it's starting to affect you, you know, please try it and speak to someone. And if you've got no one to speak to, I'm gonna pop my email address down in the description, drop me an email and uh, I'll certainly, you know, have a chat with you, talk about things if you want. But yeah, that aside, look after yourself, guys and girls, and let's get into the video. So, <clears throat> what have we got going on here? I'm gonna modify the Mayfair. Um, well, I think I am anyway, so I don't know how well it shows up on the video. So we've got two wheels here. Uh, this wheel here is the standard wheel that come off Project TARDIS. So it's the standard steel wheel. It's got a 145 7012 tire. I've not measured it. I think they are four and a half J. Please correct me if I'm wrong uh, in the comments. I think they're four and a half J, which means they're four and a half inches wide. And um, they just look skinny and narrow on the car. Uh, they don't look right, especially with black plastic wheel arches on. They always look like they sit too far inside the wheel arches. So Project Sprout, um, I fitted wider wheels and tyres on that. And I did think about doing the same with Project TARDIS and buying the same mini light wheels with 165 6012 tyres and putting them on. But I thought that might retract a little bit too much away from its originality. So I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but this wheel here is a Hillman Imp wheel. So it has the same PCD, pitch circle diameter, same stub pattern. So it fits on a mini, it takes the same size wheel nuts, but it's about half an inch wider. So I think it's either 5J or five and a half J. And I'm pretty sure the offset is the same as well. So when you measure um, the distance between the back of the wheel and the hub, uh, it is the same with both wheels. So the extra half an inch is on the outer edge. So what, what you get is like a, it looks a little bit like a deep dish, if you know what I mean. So if I measure this wheel, there's about one inch dish on the rim on the outside. Um, and so it might be a bit more obvious when I put the hub cap on, it's this bit here, this step. Uh, the Hillman Imp wheel is about one and a half inches. So it looks, it looks quite a bit different. It looks, it actually looks like if you know what banding wheels is, people do that, modify them. They fit a band around the middle of the wheel and it just spaces the wheel out a bit. It's, um, bit of a trend, not everyone likes it. But I just think, looking at that now, I think that's gonna look really good on the Mayfair. Um, so let's get these wheels on. We'll do a bit of comparison to see before and after to see what it looks like. And if it does look good, I think what I'll do is I'll get four Hillman Imp wheels. I bought two off eBay, didn't cost me much at all. I'll get four and I'll send them away to be shot blasted, powder coated, and we'll get new tires on there as well. And hopefully the look I'm going for is, I want it to look, I want people to look at it and it looks standard, but the sort of clever people, the people that know minis will look at it and think there's something just, there's something a little bit different there. And I think, I think that will do the job. 
I've got to give a big shout out as well because this wasn't my idea. So uh, Paul Jeffries, Classic Mini Garage, commented when I said about the wheels and said about getting some Hillman Imp wheels. So I had a chat with him. It's exactly what I've done. And let's get them on and let's see what it looks like. Right, so that's a standard wheel with a standard wheel arch. And as you can see, it's tucked right in behind the arch. The suspension gap is a bit big at the moment because we haven't got an engine or gearbox in the front end. But yeah, what do you think? So that's before. So obviously we can have these wheels all refurbished, make them all look like new. But I think my thinking is, even if it does look like new, they just sit in too far. They're too skinny. So let's try out the Hillman Imp wheels. Right, and there we go. That's with the Hillman Imp wheel on. I've got to say, I think that looks absolutely awesome. So it just fits inside the arch much better. Again, the arch gap is a little bit annoying at the moment, but I can't really lower it. Um, and yeah, just sort of get your head around. These wheels will be refurbished. I'll get them shot blasted and powder coated so they'll look like brand new. We'll get the hubcaps done. But even, I don't know, I think even the hubcaps look nicer like that. They just fit inside the wheel nicer. But I really, really like that. What do you think, guys? Let me know. Obviously, I'll be having new tyres as well. I'll just put this tyre on here. So the tyre size is a 165 60 12, so it's a wider tyre. But yeah, I am really, really liking that. It's like having banded steels on it, but obviously, they're original wheels, so they've not been banded. Now, I think I'm just gonna have to swap one on the back and we'll see what it looks like on the back. So you have the same sort of problem on the back. So let's just have a look. So yeah, the wheel fits right inside the wheel arch. And yeah, it just wants to come out a tad more. So let me put it on the back and we'll see what it looks like there. Right, and there we go on the back. And again, I think that looks awesome. Just fills the arch properly. They still look like original wheels. Yeah, I am well pleased with that. Thank you, Mr. Paul Jeffries for the suggestion because yeah, I wasn't sure what to do with the wheels. I was thinking of putting like mini light alloys on it. But no, I am, um, I'm well pleased with that. That's really good. But I now I have the bit of a problem where I only have two of these wheels and I need four. So if anyone knows of two Hillman Imp wheels for sale, please let me know and I shall try and buy them. Although I would imagine I didn't have too much trouble getting these, I just need to set up a search on eBay, I'm sure I'll find some.